this video, we'll talk about how to place copper pores in internal planes. To place a copper region on your board, go to the Home tab and click the Polygon Pore button. The Polygon Pore dialog will appear. This is where you can customize your copper pore, defining a name, layer, and net, to name a few. Once you've adjusted the copper pore settings to your liking, press OK. After pressing OK, your mouse will turn into a crosshair, letting you know you need to define the copper region. Create the polygon pore like you would a board outline, using the mouse to create a vertex with each click. Remember, you can cycle the drawing styles by using Shift, Spacebar. Before you continue, make sure that your polygon design rules are up to date, things like connection styles and clearances. Check or create these design rules under the Plane category. Now that we've placed down some copper, let's add an internal plane. To do this, open the Layer Stack Manager on the Home tab, click Add Layer, and then Add Internal Plane. Edit the properties and press OK. To create a split plane, click on the Internal Layer tab on the bottom of the workspace and press Shift-S to activate single layer mode. This makes visualization easier. To segment the plane, you need to create separate enclosed areas. You can do this by using the drawing tools like Line and Arc. Remember, a split plane is a negative layer. Anything added removes copper, and the width between the two planes is controlled by the width of the primitive used to create the split. Once created, double-click on the area and assign a net to it. Lastly, I'd like to share how to assign a color to different polygon nets. This helps especially when looking at more complex boards with many copper pores. To assign a color to a net, open the PCB panel, and from the pull-down menu, select Nets. Double-click on the net you want, and in the new dialog box, click on the connection color. Once you've made a selection and press OK, your changes should be applied.